let's get started with Protectly now. So we will be now connecting and we'll start installing whatever operating system you want to use. So here I have connected Protectly. The keyboard mouse is connected here. Port 1 is right now connected to the internet. Six ports are of course available. So I'll be using all of them. Uh, right now it is ready to be configured. So here let me turn this on. Simply press this and I'll just show you the display here now. Dell to enter the setup, F11 to enter the boot menu and enter to boot directly. Protectly has added core boot into the Protectly devices. I will highly recommend you that when you choose any of the Protectly device, uh, go with the core boot because it gives you flexibility. So let me press Dell and you will enter into the setup here. So the device manager, I can simply go into device manager, secure boot configuration. You want to enable the secure boot, you can enable that by pressing space bar here. So it will enable that TCG2, which is of course Trusted Computer Group uh, 2.0 configuration. Current TPM device is TPM 2.0. Of course, if you want to attempt to the previous version, so you can choose that version as well. But I'll be going with the version 2.0, which is Trusted Platform Module. You can press Escape. The Shadow System features, which of course offers the security sensitive options like uh, boot medium lock and so on. So you can do that as well from here. System features, so you can use the serial port configuration and then you can choose which serial port uh, has to be configured. On the back side of this, there is a port COM0 and then is one time boot. So one time boot from where you want to do the one time boot, whether you want to go with the network boot and utilities or UEFI shell. So one time boot is from the network boot and utilities. I'll show you that as well. And then is the boot maintenance manager. So you can go with the boot options here, add the boot option here, delete the boot option here, and then you can change the boot order. Uh, right now, the first boot order is of course network and UEFI. You can of course change that as well. The moment you do the installation or you want to have any other additional bootable disk, so you can do that as well. Then here is the auto boot timeout. So we will not be going with that. Then here you can see either you can reset the BIOS configuration or you can go with continue. So on top, you can see here the V1610 model number of the Protectly device. That of course, I have already shown you. And this is the Intel Pentium Silver N6005, 2 gigahertz, uh, 16 GB RAM is already installed into it. More than enough for running various operating systems, free BSD based system like uh, OpenSense or PFSense. And then you can of course go with the Ubuntu server or Debian server, or even you can go with the Proxmox. Now the good thing here is that Pixie boot is also loaded into the Protectly itself. In case you want to do the network boot, it will directly do the network boot from the Protectly. So netboot.protectly.com. From there it will boot and then you can have n number of operating system that you can directly download from Protectly instead of creating that bootable media. You don't need to do that. You can directly boot from Protectly provided Pixie boot. So I'll show you that also. We'll continue now. You have the iPixie boot, you have iPixie shell, and then you can go with advance and change the netboot iPixie payload URL. Right now, URL is netboot.protectly.com slash menu.ipixie. I will not recommend you to change it in case you have the network bandwidth issue. Of course, then you can change it. And if you have your locally available Pixie boot, you can use that as well. As I mentioned that this is already connected here. The one network cable is connected. That's the reason I'm able to get to the internet. I will be choosing the OS selection and utilities. It is loading the netboot.protectly.com and menu iPixie. So it depends on your internet bandwidth. Of course, uh, if your internet bandwidth is good, it will immediately load the uh, boot menu. Now you can see here netbootprotectly.com and powered by netboot.xyz. Now you can see here there are multiple options here. So you can go with the Linux uh, network install. You can go with live CDs. You can go with the BSD install. For example, if you go with the BSD install, you will see there are two options which will be available BSD based systems. One is the free BSD, one is the open sense. In free BSD, if I enter, it will install the free BSD complete operating system. So then you can see FreeBSD 13.2 or 12.2. So it depends on which operating system you want to go for. Then is the OpenSense. In case you want to install OpenSense, you can install it from here and then it will load OpenSense 24.1. Right now, a latest version is 25.1. So I will show you that also. We will, you can continue to the next video in case you want to see how you can install it. Of course, installation process will be same for everything. I'll escape and again escape. I will be going with the live CDs here, which is Debian and Ubuntu. So you can run Debian or Ubuntu directly as a live CD 
are escape and ubuntu also 22.04 22.10 and 23.04 you can run of course live cds i'll go back and escape and i'll be going with the linux network install linux network install will give you variety of options of course proxmox is one of the choice of course here so you can go with centos you can go with debian you can go with uh, proxmox tiny core ubuntu or yos i have provided the detail of all how you can start installing ubuntu how you can start installing tiny core how you can go with the centos and how you can go with the proxmox as i earlier mentioned to you that i will be using this as my travel partner whenever i want to do any experiments while i'm traveling so i'll be using that plus it will help me also to have the secure uh, access to the network let me go back again i'll show you once you start loading proxmox you can see here which proxmox you want to go with you want to go with proxmox uh, ve which is proxmox virtual environment or proxmox mail gateway or proxmox backup server here of course latest version is 8.3.0 it depends upon you you want to install from here or you want to uh, use the bootable usb disk multiple options are of course there we can directly download and install here and then we can go ahead and start updating it so it will be downloading so let me have a coffee break and after a coffee break we'll do the installation of proxmox so let us continue to the next video where we will install proxmox a virtual environment in protectly v1610 and we'll have that flexibility of using the virtual environment virtual machines uh, containers and at the same time the firewall